everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am channeling one of my uncles today in my Jamaica football jersey. I'm so excited about today's episode. So as you can tell by the title, we are making tin mackerel and two kinds of two kinds of dumplings. So there was a time, you guys, where I ate this meal every Saturday for breakfast. My dad would make it all the time for me. It's one of my favorites. I'm sure you can tell by my energy, so I won't keep you here long. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. It's a huge help to me. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to start with the fried boiled dumplings. So these are yesterday's boiled dumplings and I'm just going to be slicing them in half to prepare them to be fried. To be honest with you, I don't have a safer way to do this. So if you try, just be very, very careful because I do not want anyone to injure themselves. Okay guys, it's very simple. I'm just going to be putting the dumplings in the oil and we'll fry them on both sides. So it's very quick guys. While they're still hot, I'm going to put some salt on them. So guys, we can also have the mackerel with fried dumplings. So I have a few here and we're gonna fry them up quickly. Okay guys, the oil's hot and I'm ready to fry. I'm gonna open the cans of mackerel and debone the fish. So guys, I'm using two forks just to split each piece open and to remove the bones. So now it's all deboned guys and I do my best not to break it up too much. I'll do that once it's in the pan. So I put the pan on a medium heat. You don't wanna do this too high. Plus I'm cooking in a cast iron skillet, which tends to get very hot and we don't want anything to burn. Another tip for the mackerel, you can just add a little bit of water to get the extra sauce out of the can. So in that case, you don't have to add water later on. So guys, I'm starting with some vegetable oil. Next is the garlic. So I'm just grating it right into the pan. Next is going to be our scallions. I'm using one shallot. You can use a white onion, whatever you have. I'm adding one tablespoon of margarine. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. And to the pan, I'm adding some vinegar, guys. Mine has hot peppers in it, but regular distilled white vinegar is fine. And then we'll season with one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. I'm just crushing the tomatoes a little bit, guys. And at this stage, I'm adding our mackerel. So I'm still cooking on a low to medium heat, guys. And you just wanna be very careful because of course the fish is a little bit delicate and you don't wanna break it up too much. I mean, you can, it's really just based on your preference, right? But I don't want mine to be broken up too, too much. So guys, I just broke up each half of the mackerel into halves. So now it's in quarters. So about that big and I'm just allowing it to simmer and I turned my heat down so it's closer to low at this point. So now I'm going to add our thyme and also my cucumbers and these are optional but it's one of my favorite parts. Okay guys, so because I like the cucumbers, I just kind of use them to gauge when the mackerel's finished so they're like sort of flimsy now but they still have like a bite to them and that's it and you can see that the mackerel breaks up some more so you don't have to break it up too much okay guys it's time to plate and eat it smells so good i'm very excited <laughs> So 
that is it guys we have one plate with our fried dumplings and the other with our fried boiled dumplings thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one